Read all the stories at homeoffice.studio and watch all the videos to get an exceptionally advanced, entertaining education. Greetings, I figured I'd do a video about not, you know, standing up to bullies, I guess. Because uh, I've had a couple of interesting conversations recently about getting vaccinated for, you know, the thing that, you know, what's going on. And uh, I, I've had people tell me I was going to hell if I get the vaccine. And I've been told I was going to be all alone by myself if I didn't get the vaccine. So I've had friends on both sides of the argument. And I've been thinking about getting it because of my age. But I don't particularly like, you know, those kind of drugs and surgery are very violently invasive uh, medicine that should be used only as a very last resort. You know, and I take pretty good care of myself. I've been studying this. I, I kicked the drugs about 30 years ago, more than 30 years ago. And I start when I did that, I was studied a lot about, me, you know, medicine and natural health care and stuff like that. And so I know some things about it. I'm not a doctor or anything like that. And I'm not trying to be and I'm not con trying to convince you to take any medicine or not take any medicine. I'm just, what I'm talking about in this video is that we have got to do something about the bullying in our society. Nobody has a right to order anybody else to do anything. You know, I, I've said this before about the medical, putting doctors on a pedestal is a terrible, you know, corruption of human nature and civilization. And we got to stop it. Doctors have very valuable information and I, you know, knowledge and experience and I respect that. And I wouldn't want to be able to use it, you know, but they don't have any authority to order me to do anything or that's just crazy. You know, I mean, they, and I kind of like the naturopathic medicine or, and even more accurately, I like the, uh, integrated medicine which is basically the best of every whatever is available which you know the most advanced scientific medicine and the traditional medicine all different kinds of traditional medicine you know whatever works best for you is what you should do and you should talk to your doctor and consult with your doctor consultation is a really important concept and you should talk to your doctors and and your doctor should be teaching you how to take care of yourself. You know, there's this thing about responsibility because a lot of times a patient is unconscious. And when the doctor is working on the unconscious patient, they have a certain authority over them. And they have to be responsible with that authority and, you know, and respect the autonomy of that individual human being, because uh, the personal autonomy is not something, doctors don't have any right to violate that, you know, but they they do have a responsibility to respect that. And while, when they're work, you know working on somebody that's unconscious, they have a responsibility to still respect that and, and but they, you know, they're going to be making decisions for that per unconscious person. And so there is that, but that doesn't give them any authority to order anybody around. You know, I grew up on a farm and I know how we dealt with the, you know, animals and we gave them their shots and, you know, on their brands and all that stuff. And that's what we did. And that's, and I'm just saying that is not... <laughs> the way I, we need to be treating human beings. Civilized human beings, one of the most distinguishing features of civilized human beings is that personal autonomy. 
you know, family values is kind of more important than personal autonomy, but personal autonomy is right up there. There's, you know, spirituality, family values, personal autonomy, you know, that we're not going to be ordered around. We're not going to be having anybody ordering people around, you know, and so that's not good. It's not right. It's not fair. And our, we, our whole society needs to teach and, and, and cultivate and this idea that individual human beings have you know, human rights. They're unalienable human rights. They come from God. They don't come from people. They come from God. They don't come from the state. It comes from God. And God, you know, a submission to God, that is true spirituality. That's what freedom is. That's the very nature of freedom, is submission to God. And, uh, but this idea that doctors have authority to order people around is just not okay. And, and I don't agree with it. And if I get in trouble for saying that, I guess I get, I'm in trouble. I don't want to be in trouble. I don't want to cause any trouble. I just don't want to be ordered around by anybody. And so, you know, I, I think, I think the human race right now, the human race is thriving. The whole world economy is booming right now. This global civilization that is just now arising on Earth is a great thing. It's 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 very awesome, you know. And uh, it's new and it's different. And all see and all these different civilizations like the Islamic, you know, the Middle Eastern civilizations and the. Asian, Far East Asian civilizations and the Western civilization, Africans, you know, each one of them is, has their own values, their own culture, their own ideas about what's right and wrong and things like that. And so they're clashing in a certain sense, you know, and so, and we're working that out. And so there's like, that's natural. Okay, but the reason these civilizations are clashing is because in the past they were all region. You know, the Islamic culture was in the Middle East, Christian culture was in the, you know, Europe and America, Asian was kind of a Buddhist culture and a Confucius culture, and then there was Hinduism and Buddhism in India. You know, each one had their own history and culture, and that's all good. That variety is a good thing. And, um, but now they're all global. They're all occupying the same place and it's the planet Earth. You know, the Islam is global, Christianity is global, Hinduism is global, Buddhism is global. You know, they're all global. And so they're clashing because they're trying to occupy the same place and they're in constant contact with each other. And that's okay, it's natural. I mean, eventually we'll get to one common faith of all mankind. It's, it's the next, you know, coming up next, you know, and the, the next generation of human nature and civilization. And that's a good thing. It's And we'll have one common faith and one nation, the whole planet will be one nation. One, you know, we'll probably go through stages, you know, of you know, the one global federation of self-governing nations will evolve into just one you know, the whole planet will just be one civilization. People will be able to travel anywhere they want to go, you know, and there's no limit, you know. Now there's limits, and, and that's okay. We need to govern, you know, yes. men must be governed, you know. Government is a good thing, and we need to do it responsibly, and that's what we need to do, and we are doing it, you know. We have a global civilization is great you know the united the charter of the united nations is a pretty decent it's not perfect but it's a pretty good rule of law set out you know a system you know constitution for the whole planet and then the universal declaration of human rights is a pretty reasonable you know system you know and we need to enforce those rules and and throughout the planet earth and and do it in a way that is fair for everybody and not, you know, bullies. You know, we don't want the United Nations to be a bully any more than we want any anybody to be bullies. The bullying is the problem on any level, whether it's 
a man bullying his wife and kids or, or any other, you know, or a big businessman t bullying all the competition and wiping all the small businesses out or, or any government official acting like a tyrant, all, any of that is, is, is a, it's bullying. And it must be, we got to stop it, you know, and, and our whole society needs to be organized in ways that eliminate any form of bullying. You know, there's no bullies allowed anywhere on earth. And we need to work on that and keep working on that until it's not a problem. And then even then, we'll still have to be on guard against people trying to, wanting to be in charge or more important than anybody else or telling, you know, or start ordering people around. That's just not okay. You know, parents have some authority over their children and that's about it, you know, because even th then they have responsibilities to, that go along with that, you know, and, you know, and the state has certain authority too, but, you know, guarding our personal autonomy is one of those responsibilities yes, that so goes along with that. Out there more, yeah, and more, protecting, more. you know, Only our history. universal human rights, you know, and one of those universal human rights is personal autonomy. People have a right to be in whatever business they want to be in, they have a right to free enterprise. They have a right to personal and private property. People have a right to own property. And that is a universal human right. It doesn't come from the state. It comes from God. And we need to protect that right. The state needs to serve and protect the people of Earth. And it needs to be fair. And it's kind of a... You know, back in the days after Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt, they set up a system, you know, he revealed the, a lot of the Word of God. And the people in Israel would read the Word of God, and they didn't really even have a state. They just, what they had was the judges. Judges of 10 families, judges of 100 families, and judges of 1,000 families. And Moses was the judge of all the families. And they, and so people just, you know, they read the Word of God and they did whatever they wanted to do. And there was no state telling anybody what to do. And then after a long time, several, a couple of generations, they kind of said, hey, all these big nations around us have kings. We want a king. And God said, man, that is going to cause you a lot of trouble. You, if you appoint a king over yourselves, you know, because God is the king the kingdom of God. He doesn't, there's no human. That's like joining partners with God. You know, and, and you know, he, God says that kings are all right. There's no right problem. But, uh, you know, God is the king of every single human being alive on earth. And we need to, that's what freedom is. You know, and when a human being tries to t do that and take over that and start ordering people around, that's a violation of human rights. It's a violation of human nature. And, you know, and we got to stop it. You know, that's the peace. As long as social hierarchies, all, any yes. kind of social hierarchy is going to cause conflict. You know, because any sane human being will never ag agree that they are inferior to another human being. We're superior, to tell you the truth. You know, because there is no such thing as an inferior or superior human being. There's only free, you know, and equal human beings. And we need to re treat each other with love and kindness and respect. And that's, you know, I just, and friendship, you know, friendly, you know, kind, friendly and polite and be nice and polite and friendly. And, you know, you have to, in, if you want to have your freedom, you have to allow everyone to be free. That's the only way to do it. Any person that is oppressing any other person in any form, that oppression is the absence of justice. And justice is the absence of oppression. You know, so I, I just wanted to talk a little bit about that because it's a subject that I, I'm pretty, I care about a lot. 
and I, I don't know why, but I, you know, you know, I'm thinking about my childhood. I don't know that I really had any terrible problems with that, but I just don't really like being told what to do. You know, I mean, I don't mind people suggesting I do things and recommend, you know, and explaining and reasoning with me and saying I should do this or that, you know, but the choice, the final decision is my, I do that. That's my responsibility. And uh, that's my right. And uh, it's everybody's right. Nobody has a right to order anybody else around. That is just totally not acceptable. And, and of course, there's going to be rules and laws, traffic laws, and you know, and agreed upon laws. But to, for anybody, a politician or a businessman or anybody, any human being that just starts ordering people around arbitrarily, that is no. I don't. If I don't accept that, no way. And I. Don't want to cause trouble, don't want to be in trouble, don't want to get in trouble. But, you know, I just, you, you are free, you're equal to every other human being, your value, is, there's no ruling class, you know, there, there's no, uh, you know, there's no ruling class. We, we abolished the ruling class back in 1776 and intentionally on purpose and we decided we we're gonna try something different and it changed human nature and for the better. And we have transformed human nature, you know, and, and you know, so in, in a good way. And now most of the world is ruled by democracy, you know, capitalist democracy, you know, private property, everybody has the right to private property and uh, we vote and elect our leaders because we do need leaders. We need people to do certain things, you know, make sure the sidewalks are clean and everything like that, you know, and ambulances and fire trucks run on time and everything. So I'm not, we need a state, but the state has no authority to order people around arbitrarily. You know, they pass laws that say you have to act a certain way in public, that's fine, but there's a certain process that that's done. It's not done by some person that's just like a governor or a president or anybody like that, just ordering people to do things. That's not acceptable. You know, it's back in the the, the anthropologists studying the native, you know, I don't know what they, I think they were, you know, Native Americans, as in all, you know, North and South Americans, and they studied their culture. And the chief of the tribe, you know, there was two, there was always two chiefs. There was the, the big chief, you know, like that would have been, uh, what was it, chief? Uh, anyway, there's the big chief. And he kind of tells the, the tr tribe where they're going to go. You know, it's time to move. Let's, go, let's, go, let's head out to the summer camp or the winter camp or whatever, you know. And then there's the, the war chief. And... You know, and Sitting Bull was the big chief and, and Crazy Horse was the war chief, you know, in my neighborhood. And so, but if the if the big chief like ordered one of the members of the tribe to do something, they would just kind of laugh at him. You don't have any authority to tell me what to do. Because they just, everybody knew that and accepted it. You know, the chief, you know, he's the chief of the tribe, but he didn't have the right to order people around like that. But the war chief, if the war chief orders you to do something and you don't do it, then the penalty for that is death, you know. So it's different, you know, depending on what's going on. And uh, so anyway, yeah, the whole point is, is I just don't, what's going on right now, there's some really weird stuff that I really don't want to get too much into because I, I don't want to get involved in politics or anything like that. But I do want to stand up for personal autonomy, you know, self-determination, free enterprise, private property. Those things are important and valuable and we need to guard them. And we need our state to guard them. We need our every part of our society to respect our privacy and our 
self-determination. That's an important part of human nature and civilization. And we, if our, you know, we got to defend that. And so that's what I, have a great day. And uh, don't be a bully. You know, uh, bullies, mean people suck. You know, and there's no bullies allowed anywhere on earth. We're done with that. That's still kind of an older, primitive stage of human nature and civilization. And, you know, and it done a lot, you know, during the agricultural period from the end of the last ice age up until the present time. We had, that's what we had. The alpha males kind of ruled over it. But not anymore. We're not going to do that. You know, we've learned that that's it's it's harmful to human nature, and we don't need to do it, and we don't we're not going to allow it to happen anymore anywhere on this planet. We're going to have uh, peace and freedom for all mankind, and everybody is equal, and everybody is has you know the right. They have individual rights, and we need to protect that and respect that. We need to respect that, that personal autonomy of every single human being. So thanks a lot and have a great day and uh, you know, peace be with you.